Dr. Jerome Mato, who died in 2015 at the age of 93, was a forensic psychologist and a psychiatrist for the San Francisco Police Department. He once gave an interview for The New Yorker, and he shared that his job was to examine the evidence after a suicide to ensure there was no foul play. He had to retrace the steps preceding the suicide to prove that the person who killed himself or herself was indeed in the frame of mind to take his or her life. He's been accustomed to this painful work, but one day, even he was shaken. Someone had jumped off the Golden Gate Bridge. Dr. Jerome went to the person's home to see what may have pushed him to the brink. The guy was in his 30s. He lived alone in a pretty simple apartment. On the dresser, he found a note. Now, to find a note was very common, but this note shook Dr. Jerome to the core. Here is what the note said. I'm going to walk to the bridge. If one person smiles at me on the way, I won't jump. Wow, I can't save the world, but I can be that person who smiles and says hello to the next would-be victim. It is such a greeting that is actually responsible for the existence of the Jewish people to this very day. The Torah relates the story of Joseph, who rose from being an abducted slave and a prisoner to becoming the prime minister of Egypt, saving the entire region from famine and devastation, including his own family, the young Jewish family. But how did it happen? How does a young Jewish slave, 17 years old, ultimately become the viceroy of the superpower of the time? Genesis relates that he was in a prison cell and one morning he encountered two prisoners, former ministers of the Pharaoh, and they seemed terribly depressed. Joseph could have ignored them. After all, they're in prison. What should they be doing, laughing and dancing? Instead, he reached out to them and he said four words. Why are your faces downcast today? What's bothering you? What's hurting you? They shared their dreams with him. He enlightened them. And years later, when Pharaoh had a dream, Joseph was summoned to the king. He was blown away by his wisdom and he appointed him to become the prime minister of Egypt, saving much of the world from hunger, including the young Jewish family. We are all here today because in prison, Joseph chose to greet two Egyptian prisoners with a warm good morning and ask them what is bothering them. Don't be stingy with a good morning. Share your smile with people. When you meet someone, anyone, give them a little warmth. Greet them with your heart. Give them a little love. Don't be timid. Don't be afraid. You might save a life. You might even save the world. Happy Hanukkah.